get Docker, install Docker. I don't care how you, what it takes for you to get Docker, just go get it. The end of the video, we're done now. All right, thanks for your help. That's it, people, okay? You have to have Docker today. Everywhere and everything, everything uses, even if you're a web developer, get Docker. How do you get Docker? If you're a Mac, go out and install Docker for the Mac. If you're on Windows, go out and install Docker for Windows. And apparently the word, word on the street is you can get Docker for Windows without WSL2. I encourage you to try that. Um, if you can't do that and you're forced to do WSL2, then go ahead and get that. If you want to know why I'm sort of dubious on the whole WSL thing, you go watch my video. Dubious means that I don't like it. <laughs> so WSL2, I wanted to like it, and then I realized I couldn't save my container off. Uh, it messes with my, my firewall because it has a bug in it that prevents my firewall from working. Uh, none of that stuff applies if you create an Ubuntu, an Ubuntu Linux image inside of a Docker container. So if, by the way, so the next thing after we get the Docker container is install Ubuntu. So if you're looking for something to do after you got your Docker and you're all excited, do the tutorial. The tutorial will help you put everything on. And I'm not going to do any of that here. You're going to do all that on your own because you're smart and you can figure it out. Um, uh, proof that desktop Docker for Windows can be Hyper-V backend. Sweet. Let me go look at this. I want to I want to see this as we have time. Let's open that up. Hey, look at that. So it can be done. Thank God. It's a little bit hard to do this after you've already uh, done this without this. You have it turned off, right? Nice. So so I had this turned off and I said, I'm sorry, you have to put it on for some reason, whatever. It's really easy to install Docker, people. It's not hard. And I'm really, really happy to hear that you don't have to do WSL first. Uh, that's going to make your life even easier. And that is why I recommend Docker first. People say, how do I get Linux? How do I get the terminal? get Docker because you get Docker and then you get Linux by just doing one command. You don't have to do anything else. And everybody was like, but what if I put a virtual machine and I get, I've heard that's really great. It is great, but don't do it. Do Docker for now and then do that later. Right now, all you want is a terminal. And not only that, you want to be able to get a terminal on any potential Unix system really quickly. And that's what Docker does. Docker is like, it's like the Swiss army knife of tech. Any possible system you could ever want, pretty much, you can spin up with just a little bit of a command and, and do some stuff. If you don't believe me, go watch Conan the Container, you know, making containers like a barbarian. Uh, it's crazy, you know, building C code like a barbarian where we build a, a borderless version of Tmux there. If you want to understand the power of Docker long term. But for you right now, all you care about with Docker is that you want it and it's going to get you a Unix, a Ubuntu Linux command line as fast as possible. And as soon as you have your Ubuntu Linux command line, you'll be able, well, what's next? Okay. And we'll talk about that later. But for right now, uh, yeah, you're looking at Docker right now. So you get Docker. The really great thing about Docker is that the containers can be snapped back. They can be, uh, so let's say you totally screwed up. You, first of all, you can't screw it up. It's a container. It's a container. You, you can't, you have to go out of your way. It's completely sandboxed away from your computer. You can't mess up anything on your computer. You know, it, it, people dual boot and blow up their machine all the time, or they, you know, they do a VM and it slows to a halt because it's so heavy and bulky. Containers don't do that. Containers are just these tiny little, like, really fast things, and you give them explicit access to stuff when you want to. It doesn't have access to your disk at all. WSL2 does. You don't want that. You want it Docker because then you get this nice, really encapsulated. You want to give it access to a specific file on your disk? Dash V file. We're going to show you all that stuff. But but for right now, just know that Docker is not only is it useful for you to get Ubuntu really fast so you can learn how to do command line stuff, but in the long term, it's required learning. So every single thing we do on the boost and every other thing we do every day is in Docker containers. Um, but Mr. Rob, what, isn't there other stuff besides Docker? What about Podman? Don't worry about any of that. Just do Docker for right now. There are uh, Podman is a thing from Red Hat that's that requires systemd that is you have to have Linux to even use it. So just if if somebody pretends like they know and they tell you to use Podman, just tell them to be quiet and or actually don't tell them anything. Just say uh huh and then walk on and go install Docker. Okay, <laughs> get Docker on there, and and once you have Docker on. Then the next thing you're going to do, do you want to see? I'll show you in advance. I'm going to kind of motivate you to do this because it's going to be really cool. This is what you're going to get. Once you get Docker on your system, 
then you can do this. You can say, uh, you can say Docker. You can make an alias like called D if you want to do that. I can show you how to do that later. Uh, we're not going to do it right now, but um, Sandbox Melee. Uh, that said, don't use send, send Docker to Sandbox Malware. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, if you know what that means, don't do it. These are beginners, uh, alt account. <laughs> so yeah, I don't that. Uh, it, it's not that safe of a sandbox, of course. All right, so let's, let's, we got Docker. So I got Docker on the system, right? So I'm going to do Docker install. I'm, I'm going I'm to do something really simple, all right? Really simple. I'm going to do Docker run uh, Ubuntu. Uh-oh, it ran it, but it stopped. Let's do this instead. Uh, did I access for Ubuntu? It doesn't exist. Oh, whoops. To run IT, I think I, I'm going to cheat here. Uh, hey, Dflare. Uh, 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 Ubuntu. <laughs> There's no such thing as Ubuntu. I don't remember the exact command here, but uh, here we go. Docker run it Ubuntu. Boom. How fast was that? How fast was that? I have a running thing. You don't believe me? Look. PWD slash slash like that i can actually add user accounts and stuff over here uh you can cd there is no home there is a home but there's no users here because i have a root account the thing is so great about the boost this year in 2021 uh beginning on may 4th by the way is that this year's boost is going to show you how to install everything on your system as if you just got a brand new computer and just put baseline gen 2 or linux from scratch and I don't want you to be scared. It's not that hard. User add is you do add user. Oops, add user rwx rob. Okay, now make a password. I don't know. Skill stack. Uh, skill stack. Um, what's my name? I'll say rob, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. All right. Now I can go take over that user now. Su dash rwx rob. Oh, there's not a user on there yet. What did I? I thought I created it. Well, let's try something else. So that's actually reattached to the same one that we just ran, right? Well, we don't know which one that one is, so let's go list it. Docker, uh, PS, no, I, I always mix them up with the Kubernetes stuff. PS-A, there's a bunch of them over here, but we're gonna go find out which one has Ubuntu in it. Ubuntu, and there we've got, I mean, it's, it's even easier if you're using the desktop. I'm not, if you're using the command line, fine. You guys will have a desktop. Yeah, within there. That's one of the great things about it is you can actually test these really scary things that you would normally never do on a system and you can test them just fine. So there's my Ubuntu. Here's my number. I forgot to give it a name. Here's also a name you can use here if I wanted to do that. So if I want to reattach to the same thing, I just do uh, docker and, and dash uh, exec, we'll say. Uh, oh wait, docker exec. I'm not very good at it even myself very much yet. And then we'll do either of these things. Actually, if you do this and you start to type it, you can usually tab complete it. But my tab, my tab completion is not working at the moment. <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing this. All right, and then you just say bash. Uh, uh, something to root DRM. So, oh, it's not running. Well, that would explain it. Um, let's start it up. Uh, start's gonna gonna mess it up. So. Start. Okay, now it's started. And I should be able to exit to it. Yep, there we go. So now I'm connected to the same one I was before. And I can leave it there. I can mess with it. I can actually even add another Ubuntu image if I want to and mess with that one. You can have as many as you want. You want to add Arch? Great. Just do Arch. Let's try Arch. Let's do Dart. Let's just let's just try Arch. Docker run. Let's see what we get with a with an Arch. Arch. Oh, there is no such thing as Arch. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can find one that has Arch in it. Docker search for Arch and pipe that tomorrow. Uh, you could, there, there we go. Base Arch Linux, deprecated repository, Arch Linux slash base instead. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's do Arch Linux slash base. So actually, we probably don't even need that. Probably just need Arch Linux. Now, there comes Arch. There's your Arch, fastest way to get Arch on the planet. So here it comes. It's getting downloaded from hub.docker, which you, you'll need to have set all that up. You can't even install Docker unless you have that. So you'll go through all those steps and then you get onto this fun stuff. 
So it's downloading all of Arch Linux, which is apparently 134 megabytes minimum. So now I have root on Arch. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't I don't how do I do Pac-Man? Pac-Man. I don't even know Pac-Man very well. well. Guys, what's the command for Pac-Man to install NeoFetch? Pac-Man is NeoFetch on here? NeoFetch. NeoFetch shows you what system you're on. So uh, Pac-Man, I don't, I don't know guys, I'm sorry, dash S to update. I, 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 I've never, I don't use Arch very much. Uh, so this is fun. Dash S, uh, Neo, does it have to have, uh, does it have to update all the registries and stuff? There's no Pac-Man. What? There's no Pac-Man. The Arch Linux, the, the Arch Linux image does not even have Pac-Man on it. That is cool. Uh, there's no Pac-Man. Someone figure that out, because I don't know how. <laughs> Let me show you how to do that with Ubuntu instead. So, uh, do you give the container a random capabilities? Really? Oh, they're talking about security stuff, guys. Don't don't stress. Uh, so let me go back on here. So here's what I was talking about. Neo fetch. There's no such thing. So we're gonna install it. apt install Neo fetch. And there is no neo fetch. There is only zoo. Oh wait, wait, wait. Apt update. We have to I have to update all of the packages. This is all stuff that we're gonna go over. So don't get worried. I just wanted to show you what the next steps are after you get Docker. Okay. So what's the video about? Go get Docker because we're gonna do all of this fun stuff. And it really feels like I felt in the '90s when I was playing around with Linux for the first time. Because you're on the terminal, you have to install stuff, you have to learn how to install stuff. You know, you can like decide you don't want something and you want another version of the thing. It's just like really fun. It's all the tinkering goodness that comes with Linux. So what else we got? So now I can say apt install because I'm root uh, neo fetch. Uh, normally, you know, doing stuff as root would be a big danger thing. And I would say, no, don't do that. But on a container, who cares? Just make a new one <laughs> or throw that one away or save it and copy it to another computer. How about that? So you do that with your VM, the big bloated VM that barely fits on a USB stick. Uh, they're pretty big. That's an exaggeration. USB sticks are like huge now. There's like terabyte USB sticks. Um, and we have people debating about the safety and sandboxiness of Arch, which is all well and good. Don't let it scare you. Um, so what do I need to do? I need to put that I am an American, apparently, and that I am near New York, although not in New York. Uh, 105, New York. I don't know why I needed that, but it did. So now I can do NeoFetch. Uh-oh. Let's zoom in on that. Oh, it's kind of out of out of sync. But you can see I'm running Ubuntu. Now, this is not my desktop. This is not my desktop. This is the Ubuntu that's run. I'm running Pop! OS on my desktop, right? See, I'll show you. I'll prove it to you. Watch. So this is my desktop. Same exact program on my desktop. There's NeoFetch. So there's Pop! OS. It's got all this crazy funness. I really recommend Pop! OS. We're not going to talk about that until week 12. The last week. Second to last week, actually. Uh, 11, 11 or 12 of the thing because I don't want you to think about putting Linux on hardware until after the boost is over because you'll get distracted by screwing around with your Linux like everybody got extracted last time. And that's fine, but don't do it during the boost because it will keep you from learning the other stuff from the boost. And then you get, and after you get all done with that, you know that you can go back to a container anytime to do anything from the boost to practice it. And then you can let yourself go find a computer someplace, maybe during the entire boost, you know, you're, you're running, bump into your grandma on July 4th and you're like, hey, you got an extra computer. Why don't you put Linux on there? And you say, you can have it if you want. You take Linux, you put Linux on there, but you do it after the boost, after July 31st. So, so that's the thing to do. And then you can see it's, this is just a plain old, uh, Ubuntu limit Im image here. It tells me what shell version I'm on and all this stuff. All right. That's all I have for this video. Um, I did, I did want to show everybody though, uh, a little bit why about why they are going to do it and what's coming back. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, it's a really fun debate as usual in our stream here. So, what are you going to do? Go get Docker. Do what it takes. Get Docker on your system. Mac, Linux, whatever, right? Mac, Linux, or if you, Mac, I'm sorry, Mac or Windows, 
And if you happen to have Linux installed already, great. Uh, if, if, you, if you really want to try to install Pop! OS before the boost, go for it. The boost is on May 4th. That's when it starts. And uh, if you have enough time to do that, fine. But we're still going to do Docker, and you still need to learn Docker. So don't let that stop you from getting Docker on there. All right. The end.